Okay, this is my first YouTube video, so please bear with me for the time being. Uh, hopefully it'll come out alright. Um, I decided to make this video because uh, I was looking at these uh, adjustable kettlebells from Australian Kettlebells. Um, and I was trying to decide whether or not to buy one, and all I could find on the internet was... Uh, pretty basic information about what they were and things to show you what they were but there was not actually anything there that showed you how how they worked, how uh, how you adjusted the weights inside and that sort of thing um, so I thought I'd throw a quick video together for anybody else that's uh, looking at making or buying one of these in the future um, this is the kettlebell here it, um, it's a uh, pro grade size, it's uh, green and yellow as you can sort of see from the footage there um, Here's one of my other fixed pro-grade bells. Um, as you can see, they're both exactly the same size. They have all the uh, dimensions and everything, they're all uh, exactly the same. Uh, they're quite, quite a nice finish. Um, all the handle's all very nice and uh, smooth and that sort of thing. Um, the body of it all fits together quite nicely. Um, you can see the website there if anybody's interested in having a look at these or maybe purchasing one um, as far as I understand it they only sell to Australia at the moment but uh, who knows if that'll change in the future um, they come apart by this one large allen key in the bottom here um, as you can see the uh, the two faces where, where they come together it comes apart where the yellow meets the green uh, quite a nice finish there's no uh, big gaps or anything there um, anyway, you, you also get with it, you get this big uh, mother of a spanner and uh, this big allen key as well and pretty much what you do is you uh, chuck the allen key in the bolt in the bottom there and you undo that, um, once you do that it comes apart um, I've got another one pulled apart here so you can see all the pieces um, as I said before it comes apart where the yellow meets the green um, yeah, that's the, the bottom half there and the top half there uh, there's a big bolt that runs down the middle of it um, which is where all the weight plates um, actually stack in um, there's four plates, they're, they're each individually marked with the, uh, the weight on the top there you can see there's uh, three four kilo plates and an eight kilo plate um, I think all the uh, various combinations bear with me one second um, with those plates you can make uh, anything uh, I've got the catalogue here which some people might have seen some people probably haven't um, that's it there get the glare out of the way you can make uh, 6.5, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 or 32 kilo kettlebells out of the one kettlebell there um, anyway back to it it's quite an easy uh, thing to adjust you just get the individual plates and you decide how much you want to adjust it to the weights slide in there, they're a very, very nice fit around the edge, there's no um, I don't think you can see very well because of the light there, but there's no major gap anywhere around the outside of that um, choose how many you want to put in you can also see the weights are actually marked with the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 as well as the weight on the back there um, to show you which order they go in um, so you whack those in as many as you want um, you also get a couple of these spaces which I imagine um, are to go in there so that you don't have to do the bolt up quite as far when you're not using the whole stack so you can put the spacer in or you don't have to and then you uh, basically just wind the bolt on like that Take the wrench, spanner, give it a nice tighten there. It's easier with two hands than one. It's 
kind of hard when you're trying to hold the uh, video camera though. Hold on one second. It's wacky in the tripod there. Okay, that might be better. Okay, so we whack the uh, weights in there, make sure that's tight. Don't have to do it up too much. Sit the bottom on there, and then just screw your uh, Allen bolt back in. Where's the uh, Allen key? Just winds in nice and easily. You don't have to do it up too tight. Give it a few wrenches there. That's pretty much how it goes. Um, it's really quite secure. I've got no complaints about it whatsoever in terms of uh, its quality. There's no noise um, when you're swinging it around doing cleans and presses and that sort of thing. There's no movement within the bell. If I hold that up and give it a swing around you can actually hear that there's no, um, no jiggling or clanging around. That's actually my ring that you can hear there, but... I think that's one of the um, biggest concerns people have about these things is uh, whether or not they're solid enough and uh, if they're going to fall apart while you're swinging them around and that sort of thing. But um, I've only had them for about a week or two weeks now and um, I've been really happy with them. There. Even if these bolts were to start coming undone, not that they ever have since I've been using them, um, they're quite long so they'd have to undo a very long way before it actually fell apart and you would hear it fall apart was starting to fall apart before anything devastating happened there but I, I seriously doubt that that would ever happen because they're really good quality in my opinion but anyway that's um, that's how they work I highly recommend the product um, as I said I just thought I'd make the video because um, I couldn't actually find anywhere on the internet where you could see the internals of these uh, like I've seen pictures of the insides and that sort of thing but very little, even, even the um, Australian Kettlebell site itself doesn't have in its own videos uh, how to actually put it together and pull it apart so I hope, uh, hope this video can be of some use to some people out there As I said before, in my opinion, these are a great product. Uh, I think they they're about sell for about a hundred and hundred and sixty or hundred and eighty each, um, or you can get them as a set of two for a bit cheaper. Um, but again, as you can see, fully loaded. There's uh, there's no movement within the side. There's no. Uh, as you can see that there's no movement inside the bell whatsoever so uh, I think they're a great product and a great buy so uh, if you're thinking about it go ahead I highly recommend them